wrestling fans. Welcome to this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. I am your host, Eric Snook, and we're going to get right into it this week. We are focusing in on the Southern States Championship this week. Of course, we just had Wrestle Bash just a few weeks ago, and among all the big happenings, of course, we had the CCW Southern States Championship match, and it was controversial to say the least. Now, there are some big moments in this match that we're going to look into a little further as we get into the show. But first, let's show you the first part of that match. Of course, Shooter McGee, the very popular Shooter McGee, got his chance against the Southern States champion, Dante Steele, and that is our match of the week. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to get this match underway. There you see Shooter McGee on the right. Dante Steele on the left. Dante Steele is the Southern States champion. People have been saying for a very long time, when is Shooter McGee going to get his shot? And it is tonight. He is getting his shot at the Southern States champion, Dante Steele. Shooter McGee trying to bring home that Southern States gold. Dante still showing off that athleticism. Playing some mind games with Shooter McGee, trying to get in his head early in this match. But 
but it looks like Shooter is not falling for it tonight. And we see this mad base wrestling, this tech technician wrestling that we have going on here. Shooter McGee with that amateur background. This is not going to be any kind of walk in the park for Dante Steele. He goes for a big clothesline and a snap arm drag about as fast as you can blink. Dante Steele went to the ground. And a lot of reversals happening here. And a roll up. This could be a one, two. And just like that, we almost had a new Southern States champion. But now Dante Steele with a kick to the gut goes to work on Shooter McGee. Great back and forth action here so far. Both men trying to get the upper hand. This is the first time we've seen either competitor with an advantage in this match. And a hard smack. Shumigi goes to the mat. Dante still back and shooter up into the corner. Yelling and chopping. Shooter McGee yelling at him, screaming at him. He goes to whip him to the opposite corner, but is reversed, and a clothesline almost takes his head off. And that he could be unconscious. One, two. Dante still able to get the shoulder up. I thought he was knocked out in the center of the ring, but he was able to get that shoulder up. And the match continues, and now Shooter McGee goes to work on the lower back. Dante steals, he got, has him back into the corner, but Dante reverses it and throws those devastating chops, and it looks like Shooter's gonna throw some jabs of his own. And a bang bang, and he goes over the top, snapping the neck and the head back of Dante Steele. And almost again, another two count. Shooter McGee doing all he can right now. Every time he has it a chance, he will go for that pinfall because he wants to be the Southern States champion. And you can see that look of determination on the face of Shooter McGee. Shooter's always been a nice guy, even in the ring. But we have seen him tonight turn up the intensity and you can see it in his face as Dante still rakes the eyes and gets a warning from the referee. Rakes the eyes of Shooter McGee. And a suplex. It looks like Dante still is back in full control of this match after raking the eyes and suplexing Shooter McGee. And that looks like a blatant chokehold here. The ref counting to five. Dante breaks it at four, of course. At five, he is disqualified from the match. He's got that wrist tape and he's choking Shooter McGee with the wrist tape. And again, waiting for the count of five, although the referee does have the discretion to disqualify him for using an illegal object. And again, a blatant chokehold in the middle of the ring. Dante still might get disqualified from this match and doesn't really bother him that much. The belt cannot change hands on a disqualification. Shooter McGee going to work here, and he delivers a suplex of his own. One, two. And again, a two count. Shooter and McGee with a chin lock in the middle of the ring there. And a big, big chop. Man. Caved in the chest of Shooter McGee. Yeah. 
certainly knocked the breath out of him. Dante Steele whips him into the corner. Running clothesline, and there's that acrobatic, those backflips. Dante still has evil intentions now. Runs and just drop kicks him right in the mouth. And this could be at one, two. And this time, Shu McGee digging deep, getting that shoulder up. Dante still delivering another clothesline. Shuri gets back up, but another clothesline. Devastating maneuver there. Picks him up here. Looks like a scoop slam. The end may be near. Or Shooter McGee as it looks like Dante still is going to go to that top turnbuckle for that patented elbow. And indeed he drives that elbow right into the heart of Shooter McGee. And this match may just be over here. One, two, and somehow Shooter McGee getting that shoulder up again. And that is just driving Dante still absolutely crazy. He cannot believe it. Tells the ref to count faster. It's a standard count. This time, Shuber Yu whips him into the corner. Dante still able to get those boots up. And again, he rocks Shooter McGee. Oh, and Shooter McGee catches him, and it looks like we're going to get that bossy crab. Dante still able to scurry into the ropes. You can see Shuber Yu favoring that back. He may not have had enough strength to turn over Dante Steele, but he has enough strength to drop an elbow right onto that left knee of Dante Steele. See Shooter trying to fight off Dante Steele as Dante Steele grabs the eyes and the nose and tries to pull it back. Shooter, he trying his best to wrench up on that knee, we can see again. Dante still breaking the eyes, breaking the hole. And now he's just got him up against the ropes, trying to suffocate him. And again, Shooter McGee catches him, and this time we might get the Boston Crab for real. Is Dante still gonna give up? You can see he's, he's almost ready to tap, but he's trying his best to keep himself from tapping out. And he has got the ropes, breaks the hold, and all of a sudden, Shooter McGee, looking like he may be the next Southern States champion here in CCW. and a devastating kick right to the temple. Shooter McGee goes down. Up on the shoulders, Dante Steele. And he spins around and hits the ref and knocks the ref down. Welcome back, fans. Now, we stopped the match there after the referee was inadvertently knocked down. And this is where all the controversy starts. Uh, what takes place next, um, it's, it's shocking to say the least. And uh, it, honestly, not all on Dante Still on this one. We are going to go ahead and show you the remainder of the match and the shocking events that took place. And both Shooter McGee and the referee are down and out, and I don't think the referee is conscious right now. And 
and that mysterious new valet for Dante Steele hands him a kendo stick, and this is this is always bad news. But the referee is out, and you can see that kendo stick breaking across the back of Shooter McGee, and now he's choking him with it. And there's nothing anybody can do because the referee is out. Oh wait, there's Chris Turner, legendary Chris Turner. And he nails Dante Steele trying to avenge Shooter McGee. The referee gets up and he just whacks Dante Steele in the head and right in front of the referee. And the referee calls for the bell. What is the decision on this? Wow, the referee got up in time to watch Chris Turner nail Dante Steele with that kendo stick. And as a result, Shooter McGee is disqualified from the match. Whoa, and Shooter McGee just delivered a neck breaker to Chris Turner. Chris Turner came out to help Shooter McGee. And Shooter McGee not happy about being disqualified from this match. And just completely wiped out Chris Turner. Unbelievable. Shooter McGee turning against Chris Turner. Welcome back, guys. There we see Shooter McGee attacking legendary Chris Turner. Of course, Chris Turner came to the aid of Shooter McGee after Dante Steele used that kendo stick after the referee was knocked down. But when the referee came to, he saw Chris Turner hitting Dante Steele with that stick. And in the eyes of the referee, that is a disqualification costing Shooter McGee the match and the CCW Southern States Championship. Uh, shocking turn of events. We never would have expected Shooter McGee to act out quite like that. And after that match, we did try to get an interview with Shooter McGee. He refused. Uh, we haven't heard from him since. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get in touch with him and he'll shed some light on what he was thinking, what was going on that evening. Now, we did manage to get an interview with Dante Steele, the Southern States champion. And just like everything he ever sends us, it is uh, odd to say the least. So let's take you away to the Southern States champion, Dante Steele. High Priestess, Faith Summers, just the way you predicted it. Russell Bash, walking away, still the Southern States champion. Now what lies ahead? The stampede. I am so focused and ready for this battle royal because not only I get to win $10,000, but I get to step foot one-on-one -on -one into the squared circle with Jamie McKinnon, the outlaw. The heavyweight champion, the man who thinks that the Society of Sin is not the toughest team in the industry of Continental Championship Wrestling. Excuse me. Sorry. I just get pissed off when people his age think he still has it. Let me remind you, Jamie McKinnon, I broke your arm four years ago. Stampede, walking away, champion. 
What else, Eliza? Master Steel Welcome back, guys. There we heard from Dante Steele and his new valet. Uh, just strange. Of course, Society of Sin, a very strong force here in CCW for a very long time. They do have the Southern States champion and Dante Steele. However, we saw last week on Superstars of the Ring, they lost the tag team championship. Marcus James and Toxic lost the tag team championship to Chris Turner and Jackson Castle. So you better believe that Society of Sin is not done here in CCW and it scares me to say it sounds like they're really just getting started. Now we have many more matches to show you from Wrestle Bash 26 and we'll be showing you those over the next few weeks here on Superstars of the Ring. But for now, I'm Eric Snook. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next week. Have you ever dreamed of being a professional wrestler? Have you ever dreamed of making it to the top and wearing championship gold? Well, here is your opportunity. Email us today at customer service at ccwrestling.biz. The CCW Training School is accepting new students now. Start your journey today on your way to greatness.